M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ICOM705 and the Moonraker M2000 Mark II preamp or scanner preamplifier. So you can't transmit, you can only receive, okay? If you transmit, you'll burn something out. And it does have a powered a power input there of up to 12, was it? No, 15 volts. And the dB gain is 6 to 20 dB gain, according to the instructions. Now, at the moment, it's not connected to the radio. So we are just using the uh, microlinear, which is on the roof. Okay, and we're going to turn it up. You can see we're getting a... Well, the RF gain, let's turn it higher. So you see how see how clear that is. Okay. Signal about eight. Audio. Okay, audio. So now we're going to connect the Moonraker preamp and see what difference we make. See, we're getting other signals here. Look. We go across. That's other aircraft. Okay, now let's switch. Okay, so we've switched. Now I, I, even though, of course, everything is being amplified, as you can see here with the, the scope. Let's turn up the volume. The power's on, input, same antenna. Now let's see if we can get rid of some of this, you know, scope overdrive. Where is it? We'll find it. Is it here? There it is. So we can wind down. Try and wind it down. It will only go down so much using the, the REF level. So what we'll do to bring it down more, we'll lower the RF gain. Let's turn it up. Now we still get the other items. The other signals. We turn off the gate, the amplifier. Turn it down a bit, turn it off, then it, it literally cuts the signal. So it's either powered or it's, there isn't a bypass on this particular amplifier. So we turn it back on. Wait for other signals to come in. Right, let's put the antenna, just the antenna back on and not use the amplifier. We've now, you know, we've now put the back to it's plus one at the moment, screen gain. And if we move to these signals, you can see we're getting lots of signals now. So I can only go by what my experience is regarding this. Sorry about that, I wasn't on camera very good, was I? But my experience is you get a much cleaner signal without the, you know, without the, without an amplifier. And I'm going to test some other amplifiers. But with the amplifier, because it brings in so much rubbish. Yeah, it's very hard for you to pick out the clear signals. You know, maybe I'm wrong, but this is my experience. We'll go to two meter band. And we're using a dual band collinear. So I know I'm doing this the slow way. Right. Right, hand bands now. Get the volume up. Now we need to get on air, uh, FM. Okay. Right, let's use the amplifier now. 
and we'll check it on the input. So the input, the input is zero. So there's nothing there at all on the input, okay? Let's see if we can bring that station in with the amplifier. Okay, amplifier on. I mean, you know, it depends on the location. We'll go back to the actual repeater. Now there's some other another signal there. I can't complain. She she looks after the uh, the flowers. If you turn the amp off. I've no idea. Unless so it's after it's wagon. Uh, ah, it is still there because I thought it cut it completely. It wouldn't be on, it'd probably be on a loader or something. But it is still there. So it doesn't actually cut it. Let's pull the power out. Yeah, that doesn't change anything, but put the power on. I've heard it, so I mean it might it might be on other day, you never know. Uh no that he will tell us when he reappears. <laughs> Right, okay, John. Anyway, I'm almost at the pump. So when it's off, it doesn't actually completely get rid of it. That's on. Then we'll go back to the original antenna. So you can see how with the original antenna, we've got a nice clean signal. With the amp, when the power is applied, it does bring, it, bring up the signal, but it brings up everything with it. Um, with the just the antenna, we get a nice clean signal. When the amp is, when the power is not connected to the amplifier, the, the 9 to 15 volts input, then it also almost acts like a resistor because it, it's, it's, it's stopping a lot of the signal coming through. So it's a bit of a funny one. It's very hard to decide if, if I think it's worth having or not, you know? Is it a gimmick or is it a good device? You let me know from your experience. Now I have got another one to test, which is this one, M75 Gym Professional Series. So let's see, how the signals are affected with this one. I know it's a bit bright there. So I'm enjoying testing these. I am planning on testing it with the new RTL SDR version four, but I'm also gonna test it with the older version as well. Thanks very much for watching my channel, enjoying testing all these different devices. Bye for now, 7.3. Please remember to like and subscribe.